Millionaires are made in bad markets. When people are brave enough to do what other people won't do, they often get to reap the benefits. But how exactly do you navigate a bad market and be successful? I asked self-made millionaires that exact question. Right now, the markets are terrible. Don't know if you've looked at the news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I watch your friend Andy on YouTube. There's lots of people who have never been through this before and don't know what's going on. They're scared. Like, what What would you tell to people who are experiencing all this for the first time? You know, this is tough. Um, I guess, that really, this is a hard one to, to just let, let people know, but it's like, <laughs> just invest consistently, you know? And honestly, like, if you've been waiting for the time to, like, just go all in, I don't think right now is the, the worst time to do that. I've been kind of keeping my cards close to the chest. The market is just awful right now, and I will be making some pretty sizable investments in things like the S&P 500, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Flux, you know, like all those things because, yeah, everything's at a discount right now. The thing is, we all dream of this day where we get this 50% discount on the things that we love. And the day that comes is the day that we're like, oh, shit, everything is, everything is breaking. I don't want to do it. You know, yep. this is what we've been asking for for literally the past mm -hmm. two years. So take advantage of the downtime. That's the difference maker, whether you actually have the balls to, you know, invest when you said you would invest. If this mm -hmm. ever goes back down under $30,000, I'm going to buy more Bitcoin. <laughs> well, there was your chance, chief. And I've always told you that when Bitcoin goes back down to 8,000, I'm snagging me a few. <laughs> you know, admittedly in 2018, when I, I feel like I didn't un understand Bitcoin as much as I do now, the, the price drops from 20 to 3,000, um, they can they can shake just about anybody. But I think that the more that you know about it, the the price drops start to see you start to see them as opportunities to, to dollar cost average into, and then you're excited about it, and then and then you keep building during the bear. So I think during the bear market, it's really important that you don't just walk away. For handling volatility, I think when in doubt, you got to zoom out. So you got to look at at Bitcoin. It's had like 140 percent CAGR at, um, since inception. You need to know what you own um, because. I think a lot of fear and anxiety comes from either being over allocated, like a poor position size, like having your 100% of your net worth in a certain altcoin like Luna. I think that's where anxiety and fear can come about. I think also just not truly understanding like the bull and the bear thesis, like knowing both sides is really important. So I would get out a journal. I would start to make like your 2022 lessons learned. Cause I did that back in 2018 during, you know, the crypto bear and that translated a lot to stocks and other things too. other assets. Um, learned a lot from that type of volatility where I think Bitcoin went down like 86%, mm -hmm. all coins, 96% on average. So keeping like an investment journal so that you're, you're always improving and learning from those lessons that building in the bear, you're just realizing mm -hmm. all of that work in the, in the bull. But a lot of people tend to just get excited when the bull comes around. By the way, if you appreciate me asking and interviewing these millionaires, these questions, then do me a quick favor and smoosh that like button. And it won't even cost you a million dollars. In fact, it costs you nothing, but it helps me out a ton. Also subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon for more videos just like this. All right, let's get back to those questions. It's, it's easy to be an expert in a, in a bull market. Yeah. And the last few years, that's that's what it's been. Um, but now the tide's going out and we understand who's been swimming naked. That was a um, <laughs> Warren Buffett quote. But if you do have a long-term time horizon when it comes to investments, there's really nothing to worry about. I mean, the market's been doing this for as long as the market's been around. And most bear markets last nine to 10 months. That's it nine to 10 months. Most bear markets last less than a year. Bull markets tend to last long, tend to last longer. So if you can just withstand nine to 10 months of a bear market, even a, you know, the R word recession over a long term time horizon, quite frankly, it doesn't matter. My first experience with a recession was the 2008 housing market crash and the great recession that followed. You know, I was in I was at the University of Florida getting my finance degree, right? And I was in my first month when Lehman crashed. So I was going through business school, learning about these things as they were happening. So I was very exposed to it. Then graduated in 2012. I had a 30,000, 28, $30,000 a year job. And I had like $12,000 cash and they approved me for this house. And so I bought it, you know, pretty big fixer upper obviously, but the sellers put a new roof on it. I got a roommate that paid me 550 and my mortgage was like 725. So I 
really felt what it was like to be under this crunch of a recession. Then we have this amazing bull market that follows, right? And the stock market and real estate kind of takes off after that. And then I was able to very much benefit from the fact that I had bought that first house. When March 2020 came, that's when I realized what I was really made of because everything dropped. Like the stock market dropped like something like 35%, I think, in one month. And I remember thinking, all right, got that out of the way. <laughs> I knew this was going <laughs> to drop at some point. Mm -hmm. I knew that my net worth was going to drop by a hundred or multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars at different points in my life. To me, it's always expected. I mean, the stock market generally goes up, but if anyone's surprised when there's a correction, I, I don't understand it. Guys, we all know, I'll, I'll tell you, the stock market is going to go up and then it's going to go down. That's just, that's what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So I felt kind of comfortable with it, comfortable with the change in net worth and okay with, you know, everything going down. If people aren't comfortable, they maybe shouldn't be as exposed as they are because we should all be expecting this. We should all know that this happens. And, and Andy, that's true for crypto too. Yeah. It's, it's one thing to uh, intellectually know, you know, it's going to drop, but then to actually experience it. So I think, yeah, what you're saying is, is right. It's like you, you have to one, have that understanding, but then two, you just got to go through it, feel it, and then come out the other side and hopefully, you know, be persistent throughout and then know, okay, these things are survivable. And if you play it right, these can make you a lot of money, like so many opportunities during times like this. That cycle, it's just boom and bust. It's going to happen again. You know, I, I have no doubts that there's going to be another very, very strong bull. Um, so it'll it'll show who actually did the work during the bear. Oh, yeah. I really, truly believe that volatility is a feature, not a bug. I think that until these assets, especially Bitcoin, find their place in the global economy, when the volatility is, is greatly reduced, uh, then all those upside uh vanishes more or less um, but until then this is a brand new asset in the world that has been created in the last 13 years uh finding its place and this is what happens when an asset does that yeah i mean if you look at all the the highest performing assets over time amazon i mean amazon went down what 95 percent in, in 2001 so all of those tesla same thing nvidia has been cut in half many times is it volatility it's just, it's the price that you're going to pay for outperforming mm -hmm. but a millionaire habit quite frankly is what you said earlier it is a long-term mindset very very few of us can invest something this year and make double our money the next year very few people do that millionaires do not expect that so why would you expect that but over the long term over five years over 10 years over 15 years or even longer yes that is very possible and quite frankly that happens all the time the only requirement is you have to stay in the market and you have to keep investing it's literally that simple that's something that probably all millionaires would have this in common is they have conviction and they act. They act in the face of fear. Well, all that is great advice, but you might be asking, how do I invest right now? Well, watch this video right here to see where those millionaires would invest $1,000 right now. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.